Hey, this is Redbeard, and in this adventure, I unbox this Rock Solar Power Station. It's a model RS81, I think it's also called a Weekender. I got this smaller one because it looks like it'll do just what I need to do, uh, mainly charge my computer. I'm going to go camping where there's no electricity. Uh, you saw the solar panel that I have. Um, it will work great for charging phones and things without uh, a power station. But with power station, that should be good enough juice to keep my uh, computer going so I can, I can work remotely uh, at a non-electric campsite. So let's, let's get to open this thing up and see what's in the box. And it looks like it's kind of a fancy box. Like a phone or something. It's not a box out of thing you just open up. But anyway, a little fancy instruction manual. Nice big chunk of foam. And then you get to see how big this power station really is. So here's the box. There's the power station. It is a very small one. Which I also wanted something small. Because eventually I'll put a, a big battery in my trailer. And I'll use the solar to charge it. Um, but this would be real nice to have charged. I can take it in my tent, uh, plug it in my phone or what have you, uh, maybe a computer, whatever, uh, to charge it overnight. Um, so big for trailer, stationary, and then small for, for moving around. So let's see what else is in this box. So a box in a box. In this box we have, I don't know, which way does this box open? What do we have in this box? Ah, so it's got some accessories. So it's got this DC output here. And so you got your, your typical auxiliary plug like in your car. Um, here, oh, we have a, a wall charger. That's all that's in that box. So got this for DC out, and then this to plug the thing in. And it looks like DC in is here. So this is where this plugs in, and that's also where the solar panel will plug in. So it does have a different connector than uh, a lot of these do. Rock Solar seem to be a little bit different on that than some of the others. Um, but since I got the Rock Solar uh, 100 watt solar panel, this should work just great. Uh, but just uh, if you uh, saw another video, I think it was uh, Hobo Tech, Tech Hobo. I'll put a link down below. Uh, he did a, a large review of this and tests and all this stuff. I'll just point out it's got uh, it's got a little flashlight, which could be handy if you have it uh, in your tent at night. You need to check out something so there's a light. Oh, and then a different. So you got like a little reading light that's kind of warm, and then you have your intense whoop, intense LED light. I haven't seen that on many of them. So this has. Two, two stages, and looks like this thing does all the flashing and whatever else you don't necessarily need. I guess this would turn on the the uh, power outlets, and then this just looks like it turn on the power station. There, there it goes. But then uh, on here you have uh, four USBs. Uh, they're not all the same, so these are the blue, which in my world is the USB 3, but it probably is the, uh, the faster charge. So uh, two normal USBs, then two, which I'm gonna assume is fast charge. The DC out I mentioned, and the USB-C. It's got two plugs up here, but uh, you notice one of them is your typical three prong, and then you have a two prong, so no ground on that one. I, I don't know how many plugs you have anymore that's like that, but um, I don't know that you should be using both. All depends on what you because this thing is, is really only 80 watt, which I think most, uh, most of the computers I have are 65 watt charge, so that should be fine. You can get them at 90 watt charge. Um, I didn't necessarily check that real closely on all my computers, so hopefully I'll be okay with that. Um, but nice little small thing. See how small that is. I'm going to have that inside my tent, plug my phone in, charge overnight. Uh, I can take it outside in the daytime, plug in the solar panel, and charge it up. So hopefully that will work out well. Oh, the other thing I can do, because uh, I do have a, uh, an inverter on my bike, so if I don't have much sun, I always just take this, plug this in uh, this way, which is probably a simpler way of doing it, uh, but I'm going to use an inverter <laughs> to charge this thing on the bike. So I have some options, whatever I need to do. 
Um, but anyway, I'm excited about using this thing. Uh, I'm excited about being able to go camping without electricity. Uh, it does allow for a cheaper camping. I'm not quite ready to do the complete boondocking like uh, BLM land or something. Uh, I do have reservations to go to a campground. It has water, uh, but no electricity. Um, it's it's going to save me a bit of money. I can stay a little bit longer for the same amount of time I stayed at uh, Red Top Mountain. So that's my plan, and we'll see how well this thing works. So until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.